Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be going over Marvin the Martian and just giving a general little breakdown of his kit. I'm not going to be too focused on combos this time around, but more so just showing you the ink. Uh, intricacies of just how Marvin the Martian actually works as Multiverse's newest assassin. He has his Commander X2 skin, by the way, as you can see. It's actually pretty dope. I, I like it a lot. <laughs> I mean, I'm a big fan of Marvin in general, and so just seeing him in the game makes me overall happy. And so to kick it off, we're actually going to go ahead and just give a little scan over of the perks. When Marvin redirects projectiles, those projectiles gain a small size and speed buff. Ally projectiles that Marvin redirects gain a larger buff. So I think that's really cool. Basically, once you hit the little buzzer, it will actually increase the size and speed of projectiles that he actually redirects. But of course, the ally given like if your partner, let's say I'm going to assume if Arya throws her dagger, it can gain a larger buff. R33 Heat Seekers, instead of firing one large rocket at Marvin, Marvin's spaceship will shoot one homing missile at each enemy affected with a lock on debuff. And then you have Space Invader, Marvin can aim the direction he fires his up air attack. So I actually want to see this in action really fast. We look at his up air, that's straight, and that's us tilting it. Now, if we actually disable that perk, let's see if we can tilt it. You can't, it's stagnant, it's just straight up. So I actually think that this right here might have great utility in that regard. But if you actually want to do this with the lock ons, I think that's fine as well. Honestly, all three of these perks could probably serve great purpose. And it really just becomes player dependent at that point. Right. But me, I'll probably rock Space Invader for some time. Uh, but let's get into his general moveset. This is his forward combo, standard procedure. However, of course, if you do hit one, you can cancel it immediately into a grounded upward attack or to any of your other attacks as well. You can even cancel hit two, so don't feel like you only have to cancel hit one into another move. Neutral attack is basically his bubble. I call it bubble. So anyway, if you hold it, it actually becomes a, a, a hitbox as well. But if I tap it, it's still a hitbox too. Now, I know that you see the little thing under, right? You see the little box under him. Let's say this Shaggy actually throws a sandwich. We're gonna make him throw a sandwich real quick. So if we do special attack, bada bing, down. Let's see this interaction. We dodge it. Our slowly moving bubble will actually just keep charging forward. And basically what it does is it protects us from projectiles, but it also allows us to control them as well. So if I put on instant cooldowns real quick and show you, we can actually reverse the trajectory of it with our neutral special, which we'll talk about in a bit. Marvin excels highly at being able to control projectiles, reverse them, and of course, just basically being able to guide them to his will and where he wants them to go. So for projectile based zoners, this might seem like a nightmare, but you generally just have to watch out for the bubble. The bubble is what's going to actually take possession of your projectile. His downward attack is this laser, but watch this. Watch this, watch this. We <laughs> He can hurt himself, which is uh gives me vibes. It reminds me of another character from another game. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but check this. So if we hold it, we actually hurt ourselves and we can hurt ourselves all the way up to 15. However, you can actually use this too to catch dodges, roll-ins, or spot dodges, of course. So just keep in mind that if you do decide to commit to holding the attack, there is benefit to doing so. And to be honest, I think that I actually really like this move out as normals a lot just because of how it looks. It looks funny as hell, but it also kills. So just keep that in mind as well. If someone air dodges forward here and you're sitting up here, you can actually hold it to actually catch them because that hitbox is something fierce. Then of course you have his upward normal attack, which also has some kill power to it as well. As you can see, even from the grounded part of it, you can kill. And then you can jump with the move as well, which will pretty much act the same too. But I have the tilt perk as well, so I can actually tilt the move too to angle my shot to try to get that KO from the top. Next, we're gonna go into his aerial normals. As you saw, his upward aerial is pretty much the same, but if you do his forward aerial, it's one big kick that can kill at higher damage ratios. But let's, let's actually lower Shaggy a little bit to see how far he goes from here. 
It's pretty decently far, especially if you go off for an edge guard, you can actually catch someone, right? His downwards aerial is pretty much a variant of his downward attack on the ground. However, it aims straight down and has the ability to spike. And of course, similar to his, <laughs> his downward grounded attack, you can actually hold it in place as well. But as you can see, the laser starts to shorten when you do the spike variation versus when you're on the ground, the laser doesn't shorten at all. I'm assuming it's that way for balance purposes to make sure that you just don't have this vertical strong line that's able to just kill just holding it there because imagine you could just hold this in place and create a wall you can for a little bit of time but then as you see it starts to shorten and so I actually think that that's a good thing but of course if you do end up spiking someone into the ground at higher percent you could kill them off of that as well his neutral tech in the air is essentially just the bubble yet again he can actually just shoot the bubble course similar to his grounded attack so his normals don't really change from ground to air that much whatsoever just to keep that in mind so we're gonna move on to the bread and butter the specials let's talk about neutral special first and foremost this is an attack so if you are near an enemy you can actually hurt them by doing this as demonstrated right here but if it's an ally, you can actually redirect their projectile as well. So just keep that in mind. I showed earlier that you can redirect the projectiles of a, uh, I want to say an enemy, but look at this. If I hit the button, does nothing, right? So let's get our beam out. As you can see, we can actually redirect the direction that the sandwich is actually going in. Next move is going to be the side special. This little laser actually pulls your enemies towards you. So as you can see, it would be great for being able to set up for combos, but something that I even think that you can be able to use it for is of course, is to pull enemies into the air all the way up to you. Cause as you can see, it homings the enemy directly towards Marvin for a specific amount of distance. So if we do this, we can actually set up for situations where if our opponent doesn't dodge, we might be able to get a spike. So just keep in mind, there is a ton to be gained from using this move. I actually think it's one of his better moves, especially because, I mean, if you're able to just pull someone towards you, that just allows you to begin your combo game or, of course, allow your partner to follow up who might be ready way before you are or have access to their kit way more than you do at the time. Up next is going to be Marvin's up special where he summons a spaceship. Pretty classic, right? Of course, after a certain amount of time, the spaceship will end up firing a rocket towards Marvin. So you can use this to aid your recovery by building a platform. And then of course, you can fight an enemy at the same time, giving an immense amount of pressure from the rocket being on stage, which will eventually hit the enemy. And of course, the knockback on that move is going to be massive, allowing for it to set up four kills. Now, the thing is, your opponents can actually destroy the spaceship to prevent it from shooting a rocket. So you want to make sure that you up your aggression while also defending the spaceship but the beauty of the spaceship is is that even if they decide to be aggressive towards the ship it just leaves them wide open for you to make a follow-up attack now something also cool about this projectile is the fact that marvin can actually redirect the rocket himself if he so chooses to do so we're going to summon the spaceship redirect it immediately as you saw so you have full control over the trajectory of your rocket so, so even if someone is not within range, you could just keep on mixing them up by switching the direction that it goes in. And I think that's really cool. And lastly, his down special. Marvin is able to plant a flag into the ground that actually acts as if it locks onto opponents. You can think of like stripe in regard. Now, check this out. If you actually have an ally, and we're gonna set the Shaggy to throw sandwiches, the classic. If you target someone, right? You saw how the way that sandwich worked? All projectiles that actually are thrown on the stage by your ally will target the enemy. So basically, this is without it, right? Shaggy is just throwing a sandwich, classic shit. Now, if we do this and he happens to be in the zone of my flag, he gets that big flag in over his head and all ally projectiles are going to lock onto him immediately and something also to note by doing this right there's a little there's a little thing that you can do if you didn't notice so if i tap it that's how big the radius is of my flag it grows slowly 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 now if i charge it you saw how it started out with more immediately 
you could actually make the size of it grow a lot faster if you hold down the charge. And once you plant the flag and it's near an enemy, it actually pops them up while locking onto them. So you can even use it as a quick way to apply pressure by knocking an enemy up. That way you or your partner can follow up on them as well. But without further ado, we're actually gonna go ahead and get into more so what I want to say, his other moves. The, the cream of the crop. Nah, I'm just joking, his, his aerial specials. <laughs> Imagine he had like a whole full set of other special moves, that'd be fucking nuts. But nah, we're gonna get into his aerial specials. So, of course, you can actually just activate the ship with aerial up special, same old, same old. This is the button. You can also hit the button in the air. You know, it's pretty much almost in the same vein as like his aerial normals. They're just other variations of like, they're just aerial variations of those specials but the thing is you actually have this move where he thrusts forward his side special in the air and so as you can see it doesn't have a lot of knockback but it does pop up for combo potential because they don't go far away from you and of course he can actually come from the skies and plant that flag i actually think this move looks funny as hell marvin's animations are fucking sick like actually sick from the run to just generally the the crawl on the ground to the teabag which i will say he has two variations of the teabag right you got this classic teabag where you see his whole body but then if you go a little bit faster this is for like the more advanced teabaggers you can actually make it so that it goes this fast and it looks a lot funnier <laughs> so you have the standard where you kind of go into full profile with his head to his body and then you have this one let me see your teabagging game uh your teabagging skills in game guys not versus me though but anyway guys this is going to be the guide for marvin the martian if you want to go ahead and take a look at his general move set i'll have it here in the video for you so you guys can actually pause and check it out yourselves passive ability he can walk while crouching Use this to the best of your ability, however you feel like you're going to use it. <laughs> but regardless, this character is dope. I think he's a good mixture of uh, expert and beginner. Like, I feel like he's a good in-between. So I would definitely recommend this character to uh, people that are just learning the game. If you want someone that's not so hard, but definitely not, not so easy. And of course, guys, be sure to show me your Marvin combos. I want to see them. I'm very excited to see how this character performs in the meta. So show me something. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see. All right. And of course, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more guides. Road to 50K. Let's get out of this 47K mark and let's hit that 50K, guys. Greatly appreciate it. This is the cat. Take it easy. Peace out. Deuces.